What is going on everybody? Thank you again for checking out the channel. My name is Winthorpe. This is the group the Doreen Collective. Should I do it again? No, we're gonna get right into it. But um, appreciate it always, guys, for watching uh, the content, the videos. We're trying to grow this bad boy. Uh, real quick for you tech guys out there. I noticed like a lot of people ask, like, what are you shooting on? It looks different. Like, what? what's your specs? Uh, this is the Sony a7S III, and I'm shooting on a 35 millimeter lens, 1.8, and I do have it open all the way up right now to 1.8, 1 50th of a second. And my ISO is 1600 for all you Sony heads out there. But I wanted to get into it today. So a couple days ago, I posted uh, something on, on Reels. And I was talking about vulnerability and just, I, I posted it, but I didn't put it on. If you know anything about how Reels, you can post it, but it doesn't have to go right on your, your wall or your page. It can just go in the Reels little category, the little Reels folder. But I noticed it started to pop up on a lot of people's recommendation pages and people were like listening and reaching out like oh i didn't know that was going on i didn't know you were going through this and i'm like yeah because i keep a lot of it bottled up inside which i know that's not necessarily the right way to handle you know dealing with trauma and things like that that's that's usually what they tell you to do the opposite of like you should let it out but getting into it i've always like i said before i've always been hard trying to you know express myself and be vulnerable and that's what that video was about just being vulnerable and just like letting people know like yeah i'm hurting or i'm feeling like this and i know that became something powerful later on for me being vulnerable being able to just drop down all the walls and say hey this is what's going on but something that also helps me just cope through trauma and just going through everything that i've been dealing with and hopefully uh it can help you guys out there and it's something that you guys see me do all the time like it's not a secret but there's just more to to it as to why i do it and the reason i go to the gym and jujitsu isn't just for the obvious of just being in shape and learning a technique learning martial arts you know of course that's obvious like we you know that's why we go there and we can continually go there because yes you can get in shape you can get stronger you can learn technique but for me i know when everything happened with my mother i fell into this horrible slump where i was not doing anything at all like nothing was going on i didn't care about anything i would just if i was in bed i'd stay in bed or if i'm on the couch i'm just not moving and i said to myself okay at the very least, I gotta get back into my routine or a routine. You know, if it is, okay, you're not gonna go to the gym right now or you can't really do, do jujitsu, just go outside, go walk. Go walk around the block real quick and come back. And I found that creating a routine, and my routine was working out. You know, later on, as it continued, as I continued to develop new routines, my routine was starting to shoot these videos. You know, it really became, it's a part of my therapy, like I said in other videos. So, create a routine. Create something that, okay, you can stay committed to and force yourself to stay committed to it. That day in, day out, every day, you're gonna do this task or multiple tasks. You know, it's a part of your, your daily, routine and like i said before make it non-negotiable that's why going to the gym and going to jujitsu it's not negotiable because it's a routine that i committed to myself to help me get through these tough times or when the times get even tougher you know having that routine to say okay you know my mind is being bogged down with all of you know these these memories and thoughts and you know a lot of bad ones and intermixed with some good ones and you know you're angry you're frustrated just all these different emotions going on but i know okay at this time at seven o'clock tonight i'm going to regardless of what's going on i'm going to make sure i get my bag got my gi and i'm going to jujitsu you know regardless of what's going on and how bad i feel how bad i want to stay home it does not matter i'm going to make sure i get up and go and i really and mind you it was tough it was it was definitely tough i failed a lot of times you know especially in the beginning you know those first couple of weeks i was not doing good at all with it where okay i got my bag and we'll go try to go to the gym it's been a couple of weeks i haven't been and i just put the bag right back down like i i can't do it like it wasn't it, it's just not happening and it, it became 
you know, that was a thing for a while where I just, I couldn't get out of the rut. And I had to really, really say to myself like, okay, how long can you really go with just living like this? Cause guys, I'm telling you, it was bad. It was really bad. And mind you, I'm not saying in the past tense, like I still don't go through it. I'm still not dealing with it. It's just, I'm able to have a better grasp on it. You know, it's always going to be something that I'm working on, but I know for you guys out there for anyone out there that's going through something traumatic and it's those early stages that just happened to you trust me i know what you are dealing with i know what you're going through i know some of those thoughts that are going through your head and i know those thoughts aren't good and i know some of those thoughts are like a little crazy and it's like what way out of your character but you have to you can't push them away i won't say that but you you cannot allow it and easier said than done, but trust me, you cannot allow it to consume you and just take over every every aspect of your life because it's just going to be a downhill um, snowball effect that it's going to be tough for you to overcome. And it took a lot, a lot of days by myself, miserable, and until I woke up one day and I'm just like, okay, what? What can I do right now, right? Like, these thoughts are gonna come, I get that. These thoughts are gonna happen, I understand that. But what can I do, right? What am I in control of right now that I could do differently? You know, and one of the things was like, hey, you can get back working out. You know, you can get back into jujitsu, you know? Even if it is just one time a week versus I was training, you know, five, six, every day if I could. You know, so it started off with, all right, I'm just going to at least get to the gym. I'm at least just going to get to the gym, you know, try to do some cardio or just hop in the sauna, you know, and it was maybe 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and then I would just head out. You know, not the greatest workout in the world. Sometimes I wouldn't even do weights. Like I said, I would just get there, stretch, get in the sauna, and I would leave. But at least for that 30, 45 minutes, an hour, I was like, okay, I'm able to kind of control these thoughts a little bit. I'm able to push down certain things just a little bit. And I feel, okay, lack of better words, I feel a little bit better. You know, so then it went from, okay, my routine is just once a week. All right, maybe I can start doing two times a week. And now it's going to be two times a week. And let me throw in some jujitsu with it. And that became, that became another snowball effect where, I was able to get back into my regular routine prior to everything happening to where I was just back training. And then I realized training for me became way more than just, okay, I'm trying to get swole and I'm trying to choke people out, you know, because a lot of times that's all I was really going to the gym for. Like I was just going to the gym, like, yeah, I'm just trying to lift and all right, whatever, you know, or, or jujitsu, you know, I just became passionate with jujitsu because it just it forced me jujitsu was different because when i first started jujitsu it just forced me to be uncomfortable and it forced me to be vulnerable right so it helped me early on to work on certain things that i knew i was definitely lacking on right and i knew i need to get back to that so once i started to create that routine and get back training it allowed me just to okay process things a little bit better you know and i always say some sort of physical activity was always helpful because a lot of that pent up energy that anger that aggression i was able just to be like all right i'm gonna put it all out right now into the training you know and or i'm gonna put it all out on the mat you know and creating those routines non-negotiable routines it made a ton of a difference like in, in every aspect it made a big big difference and it allowed me to start to process things a little bit better cope a little bit better you know just see progress you know because at a time it's like when you go through it the first couple of weeks the first couple of months i mean even for me the first year you just say to yourself okay i don't think i can ever just get through i don't think i can get through this like i just don't think it's going to be possible for me to get through this you know it definitely changes you i won't tell anybody that okay you're the same person it changes you for the good or the bad i mean that's that's up for discussion but it does change you it does turn you into a different person but it's just how are you going to move forward as that different person 
and I want to touch more on certain steps that I took to book, accept this new person, this new version of myself, but still move forward in a in a positive direction. So definitely want to talk more about it. But for starters, guys, create a routine, create something that you can start doing right now that, you know, maybe it was one of your passions. You know, I know for me, a lot of my passions kind of went out the window but training was always just been a passion of mine. I've just always enjoyed it. Uh, you know, Jiu Jitsu is a passion of mine. So I was just like, all right, I can create that routine and make it non-negotiable. That's why I always scream about it being non-negotiable. Not only for, okay, if you're trying to be successful, you're trying to strive for, 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 for higher things and, and better things in life. But even if you've went through something, you've gone through some trauma, you've gone through, you know, experience that you don't want to tell anybody, you know, you don't know who, who to talk to or you feel no one can relate. Sometimes creating that healthy routine can allow you to start talking to yourself and kind of, you know, ask and answer some tough questions that you may have been trying to push deep inside you didn't want to come out. You know, that's why having like a, a crazy, crazy workout session for me, it it forces me to listen to myself because that's why I tend to not listen to music a lot of times when I'm training. And it it raises that volume like okay you need to you need to listen to you need to listen to these thoughts what's going on and process it so something to think about we're going to continue this um yeah guys let's get through this another video on the way appreciate you guys listening as always and watching talk to you guys later peace